Upgrades. Hello, good morning or good afternoon where you guys are. <laughs> Natasha from Team JBS or JBS Media and Productions. And I'm excited for this season. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> As a fan of the books, uh, just seeing the the weaves and just the the bigger uh, set design, especially with Karian. Um, so can you tell us the process or the one question for both of you guys? What is the major difference that you've seen so far um, between season one and season two since you both worked on season one? So story-wise, and actually it's uh, because we are actually based on the, everything, all our work is based on the story, is the fact that we are traveling more and also our characters are split at the end of the first season and they are traveling alone. So like they're all you know, different groups, like you have a, a Nynaeve and Egwene together, you have a Perrin, you know, with the uh, Shanirans, you know, different, you know, different and with Loyal. You have a Matt, you know, stuck in the White Tower, you have a, you know, a Nine uh, Moraine and Lan somewhere else. So you have these, these different characters and um, the travel, they travel through the season by themselves or by these groups. And this is kind of like a creating a slightly different concept because you have to create more locations, more sets, more places that they are traveling through. And also you are trying to kind of create the difference, visual difference between each set. So once you are going back to that in the edit, you know exactly, okay, now I'm with Perrin, so I'm in Atuan's mill. Now I'm with, uh, you know, Moraine, so... I am uh, in Tiffan's well, and you know, like at this kind of way that you are actually thinking, okay, the design's helping uh, to the audience to understand where we are there, or this is different world, the landscape look different, you know, architecture look different, and everything around that these people looks different there. So that was kind of major thing. So I put yeah, well, uh, uh Season one was uh, new for everybody, and uh, everybody were like uh, really expecting how how did we you know went on you know are we uh, are we the same as the stories you know in the book you know so so we know that we are well, we actually we think we are on the good way of uh, telling the story you know in uh, uh, in season two and we want to carry on uh, just uh, as good as we were in the season one. We want to be as more believable and we just want to uh, follow the follow the books uh, as mm, as good as uh, possible it is, you know, so so we really uh, give it the big effort and uh, and we spend uh, many months of work, you know, just uh, finishing that and uh, we are looking forward that you will uh, you will now go the opportunity to see it. Yeah, so I've managed to see episodes like one through three and I did notice that Karayan was kind of um, designed based on feudal Japan, if I'm thinking correctly. So how long did it take to build that set? And I did notice that some of the buildings were similar to Tarvalon. So I did also notice that sometimes with the buildings you wanted to try and, um, you know, save time, but also still create something new. Um, so if you can tell me the process of that, um, and then with the effects as far as the fight scenes, how what went into the process of making sure that the magic was co uh, coordinating with um what this uh the natural effects like wind rain what have you yeah so you're absolutely right about that um, you know touch of the japanese culture in the car here and that was a kind of that was our, our intention to actually mix her uh, the france architecture of the the french architecture of the um, you know, 15th and uh, 14th century and, uh, you know, imply some Japanese pieces there. Plus, there was a one inspiration for us, was one Korean castle as well. So it was kind of a mixture of like Asia meeting the, the Europe in the way of uh, architecture and designs. And also like uh, these uh, these tall towers, which are described in the books, was kind of part of the design 
which was kind of influenced by these big towers in Italy that, that each family like a building that the, the, a massive tower for their palace that showed the, the power and the strength. Uh, regarding the uh, the buildings and st structure, there was n we didn't use anything from the Tarvalon for this season uh, and for the Carhin because uh, what we did that we uh, you know we built some set you know uh, for the for the for the previous show in Prague which is still standing and we used that you know that old set as a base and we built like a the four gate and the walls and you know all of that stuff for us for this season so we kind of make sure all standing set with our new designs and it was good for me because I designed the previous set as well so I didn't have a issue like a visually because I know knew exactly what I'm doing with that set so and uh, that kind of was the mixture of it but uh, yes that was the, the idea that we combine this uh, medieval city with the Japanese influential and all of that and of course there was a lot of moments like uh, that we combine uh, the physical sets with the uh, you know like uh, with the special effects and with the visual effects but uh, for example the typical thing is that uh, when we did that uh, burning house and uh, you know you know um, uh, Rand and um, and uh, Celine are so we can talk about that. Yeah, the, the, for example, this this uh, practical uh, fire there, uh, we had to uh, done it on uh, several several places. So so one was the actual set when uh, in the foreground uh, in the Karheim, but uh, then we had a set on the uh, in the studios as well where we show the interiors where actually the fire begins uh, on the ceiling and then uh, we build the head on the side of the back lot where we could really burn it down and uh, we had to combine all those three sets uh, in one piece uh, that you believe that uh, once the fire begins then uh, they've got time to escape and you see you see the fire while they were escaping you know and then uh, aftermath you know then the house is burned down and uh, he's just cleaning uh, all the ashes you know down uh, the other the other uh, things where what you were asking is uh, like what's practical in the battle for example uh, so we had that uh, advanced mail uh, location and uh, we had uh, uh, mm, that night fight uh, when when the uh, Sunshine Army came and uh, uh, tried to attack the village, and uh, there was uh, there was uh, lots of uh, stunt action. There were like uh, people flying, so they had to be on the wires. Uh, whenever they were flying, we were adding uh, some wind that that helps to look more dramatic and uh, and then uh, the f sequence ended when actually there's the big big channel you know which blast all the characters uh, to the walls of the of the houses so we had uh, lots of equipment just to create this kind of effect there you know so we were using a uh, really strong wind machine you know uh, air movers you know so there was a uh, like a row of uh, technique behind behind the actors you know and uh, we just uh, had to use uh, m most of the equipment we had you know just to 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 make it make it big uh, big enough that uh, you will uh, you will say wow you know this was great <laughs> so i am definitely enjoying the season so far and i can't wait to see what else you guys have in store with episodes five through eight so thank you guys thank you, thank you as well.